We're mixing into private equity for real. So Axe Capital is getting started in private equity. I got everybody downstairs generating ideas. And it's not going really well. You haven't said yes to any of them yet. That's probably not a surprise. They have a dozen internal ideas you've turned down. Team is specializing in public equity. Because they all suck. With the public markets, you can look at Bloomberg and find ideas. With private markets, you need to find access first. They can't all suck. Actually, they can. Luckily, in season three and four, Billions will introduce new characters who are private equity specialists. There's Oscar and Rebecca. Oscar's based in Silicon Valley. He's into tech, he's a total geek, and he's a venture capitalist. Rebecca is in New York. It's a little bit less clear what she does. When we see her first at a robot pitch that looks a lot like the venture world. I was trying to figure out why you invested in that dog shit robotics company and if I fucked an idiot or just someone really duplicitous. But then we realize what she's really into is taking control of companies. You synthesize it like you do information about companies. You're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. Technically, they're both in private equity. In reality, when we talk about private equity, we often talk about LBOs, leverage buyouts, taking control of companies, the stuff that Rebecca does. Let's look at the main differences. So we know about their different personality, but what type of companies do they invest in? Well, venture capital investment firms fund startups, also called nascent enterprise. Typically, they are young, tech-focused companies, and what the investor wants is rapid growth. VC firms, will provide funding in exchange for a minority stake of equity, less than 50%, because they want the founder to be fully in charge or incentivized to grow the company as much as possible without taking that responsibility themselves. They also bet on the existing management. In contrast, private equity investment firms often take a majority stake and they invest in mature companies operating in traditional industries with strong cash flows. PE, PE firms typically look for businesses that have inefficiencies. The idea is that once you get rid of these inefficiencies, the business can become a lot more profitable. So when we walk into that boardroom, I can't fire them. I have to show stability in the street, especially since I'm making so many changes to the business. The line is not always that clear. PE firms can invest in VC-backed tech companies. And in fact, there are a lot of things that bring those two together. They're both billionaires, they're super smart, and they are a match for our heroes, Taylor and Bobby. They match in business and there's more, but you'll have to watch it for the juicy details. PE and VC, work together in the financial ecosystem. For both, the goal is to get the company either acquired or listed on the public markets via an IPO. For example, you could imagine a successful venture capital backed firm that goes to IPO. The company matures, then is later acquired by a leverage buyout, then maybe sold to another company or relisted in an IPO. And as they sell the shares, the investors increase their capital, they will look at reinvesting all this money into new PE and venture capital deals. Actually, hedge funds can do a bit of both. There's nothing stopping them. But really, it's a different world. It's a different skill set. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this interesting and you want to learn more about private equity, venture capital, and alternative investments, this is actually the intro for a chapter on private equity as part of the alternative investment course for which you can find the details below. Ingenious. I'm open to that.